don't have don't wait to become and what do i mean by that right and good to hear that you're good sharon it's good good to hear that you're good um i think um holding on okay mother angela holding on good 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 okay all is well tracy all right just wanted to check in make sure you guys are are, are all good um just a quick sidebar you know i would say about maybe three four weeks ago before things really shut down you know even me and my husband we weren't we weren't feeling good we weren't feeling good we didn't know what was going on like our taste left our smell left you know we just was feeling a little weird um we weren't sure what was going on but by the grace of god and just a healthy immune system at, you know it, it whatever was passing through was passing through but um just i'm just grateful to wake up uh healthy and 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 blessed right during this whole process but let me leave you this quick message and then i'm gonna let you go on with the rest of your night but i wish you would right i wish you would wait until some government or pandemic passes before you decide to be grateful for who you are and what you are called to do because of a pandemic because of a government shutdown because of the world on halt doesn't mean that you are still not on purpose and in purpose so i wish you would wait for someone to say and give you your release papers to decide that you have a calling and a purpose and a vision and a dream the pandemic is not going to stop your purpose, vision, and dream, and it's not going to start your purpose, vision, and dream. You know, we go through so many things, and I, I, just as a human being, this is a human, ups and downs, ailments here and that, but I wish you would reconsider the fact that you are called to do something amazing and great because of a halt, and I wish you would wait for some government to tell you, like some people are sitting at the edge of their seat like this, waiting to hear when they can be free. Now y'all all know my story. I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna leave it and leave y'all for the night. Before the warden handed me, before the FBI, the government, the United States versus Lucinda Cross handed me my release papers when I was in FPC Bryan, Texas. I was free before they gave me those papers. I was mentally free, emotionally free, spiritually free before I even stepped out in what we called at the time the free world. So I wish you would sit at the edge of your seat waiting to start your workout to, to when you get free, when those release papers are met. I wish you would wait to get healthy or or pursue your dream or finish your calling when waiting and sitting at the edge of your seat waiting to hear when you you, you when, when trump says it's okay or your governor or mayor says it's okay and you're free to roam around in the world i wish you would wait on that to become who you already are so that's all I wanted to leave for you today. You free yourself before you allow anybody else or any pandemic to pass. Oh, it's almost over. We're almost out the clear. We can So what does that mean? That means you weren't great when you had to sit down for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. No, you were great. You're still on purpose. You're still in purpose. It, yeah, it's a little rough. And yes, it's scary because we've never gone through nothing like this, right? In this type of thing. But we have overcome some ma many, many challenges. You know, we've overcome many, many things that we thought was going to take us completely out, right? But the thing here is I, I, I see and I hear, you know, oh, I can't wait till this thing is over. I'm going to, you're going to wait two weeks uh, you, when they tell you that, oh, this is done in, in May, so now you're going to start working out because you don't want to show that you've been snacking. No, do what you got to do. Be free. Be free. And I think we're way too hard and way too judgmental and way too critical on who we are. You don't need to get all into creation. Well, who said that you got to create anything? Who said that you got to start writing anything? You know, there's some memes going around that's saying, you know, if you, if you are... Um, 
if you don't come out of this with a new hustle, how about coming out of this with a new mindset? You know how hard that is? Oh, wow, we could create a hustle. We could create a hustle. There's hustles out there. But some of us are still with that same old mindset. So some of us are waiting to when this thing is over and using this as an excuse to be and do what we need to do, which is just be. So I hope this freed at least 20 of y'all tonight to say, you know what? I, I, here I am sitting at the edge of my seat like, oh, oh Lord, when they going to say that we could go? Oh, Lord, I could be free. Come on. Did we serve one master, true and living God. He's not dead. He's alive and, 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 and making things happen and still in the blessing business. Hello, somebody. So let's focus on whatever it is that you create, whatever it is that you do. Don't worry about who's judging you. Don't worry about if you know that you are were on a track already to do great things and you're already doing great things, continue to do them. So because I can't travel to speak mean I'm not going to keep, keep speaking and sharing. No, I hit up my clients. I hit up my sponsors and I said, listen, how can I support you with remotely with your network? Does that stop me from being who I need to be? And there's a season and a period where I was just like, listen, I'm glad to just shut the hell up at this point. You know, so, you know, it, it, who you are shouldn't stop. No, no, no being locked up. Mentally, you know, locked up mentally is the worst than being locked up physically. Like I said, I did not wait for the warden to hand me my papers to confirm that I was free. I made that decision to be free the minute I seen those bars close and I had to put on an orange jumpsuit. So you don't need anything else to confirm and reaffirm that you are already free and loose and, and, and great and amazing. And like I said, on purpose and in purpose. Amen. And I'm not trying to preach, just trying to teach this thing. Nowhere near to listen, because I may cuss tomorrow. But just saying, just to share some encouragement. I love you all, appreciate you all, and listen, it's all I'm 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 all right. I know you all right. You know, it's hard, it's not easy, but still be who you are. You a prayer warrior, continue being a stronger prayer warrior. Maybe a book will come out of it, and maybe not. Maybe some extra strength have come out of it. That's what we want. More strength, a new mindset, a new way to think about things. But if I hear one more thing about, you know, all oh, the death toll and this one is, no, there's some survivors. Like I said, I don't know what I was hit with. And some of y'all know too. Y'all just not sharing it. Some of y'all been hit with some things. Y'all been hit with some, y'all, I just didn't want to share. Y'all probably don't even want to share it out. But some of y'all already had a little slight bug of whatever was going on, but you didn't want to share it. But by the grace of God, we are still here. And so you are still great. You are still amazing. You still have a calling. You still have work to do. Just because the world said stop doesn't mean that you've been shut down. I was free before I was free. That part. So you're free. You make that decision right now tonight. Are you free or are you waiting for the man to tell you when you're free? To give you that green light to move forward with your life. All right. Keep your hands clean. Make sure you keep your six feet apart from each other. Um, continue to use your hand sanitizer. Things we should have been doing anyway. Okay, that part. We should have still been cleaning our hands and sanitizing and being extra clean and giving people personal space. Thank you, God. <laughs>